Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting integral. We have the integral of x times square root of x minus 3. So when the first side this integral is real hard because we have the product, we have x and we have our square root. But I'm going to suggest you a really good trick how to solve it. So let this square root of x minus 3 will be our t. So as a result we'll have that square root of x minus 3 equal to t. And let's find from here our x and later find our dx. So as a result we'll have, let's raise both sides to the second power, we'll have x minus 3 equal to t square. And from here we bring this 3 on the right, we'll have that our x equal to t square plus 3. So we find our x, we have our t, and let's find our dx. So let's find derivative from this right side. We'll have the dx equal to 2t and dt. So dx we have 2t dt and our substitution we have as well. We have that x equal to t squared plus 3 multiplying by t and we have our dx equal to 2t dt. So let's put all of these elements in our integral. So what we'll have? We'll have integral. We'll know that x equal to t squared plus 3, t squared plus 3, multiplying by square root of x minus 3 will be our t times t, and dx equal to 2t dt, so times 2t dt. So let's multiply all of these, all of these elements. So let's first of all bring constant in the beginning, so to bring behind this integral sign and let's multiply t and t will have t square. As a result we'll have in our parentheses t square times t square will be equal to will be equal to t to the fourth power and 3 times t square will be plus 3 t square and dt. So take a look we have a classic case, we have a table case is because we have integral of sum. If you're talking about integration we can take this integral by by parts, so we can take integral of our t to the fourth power dt and plus 3 and 2 will be 6, 6 integral of t squared dt. So let's find <coughs> integral from all of these elements. So this integral and this integral. This integral is classic, this is a table integral, this is look like x squared, x to the fourth power, but we have instead of x we have t. So as a result we will have that this will be equal to 2 t to the fifth power divided by 5 and right here plus 6 t to the third power divided by 3. 6 t to the third power divided by 3 and plus c. And if we simplify in this, if we of course divide in this by 3 and put this square root of x minus 3 right here, we will have our our answer. So our final answer will be, let's put the square root of x minus 3 instead of this on this t. And if we have, we have interesting answer, we will have 2, to, 2 over 5 behind this, and right here we will have t to the first power, and right here we will have square root. So we can write this as x minus 3 to the power 5 half, and plus 2 the same, x minus 3 divided into the power, not 5 half by, but right here we have cube, square root, to the power 3, 3 half, and plus, and plus c. Of course you can write as square root sine raised to the fifth power, and square root sine divided into the third power, but I want to write it in the, in the next way. So this will be our, our integral, if you have any question. Maybe you have faster method how to solve it. Write a question in the comment, write a suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.